Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Origins Roboto. Man, this is one that I was really excited to see get released because, I don't know, Roboto's not one of those characters I often think about seeing so early in a Masters of the Universe toy line. But he's such a cool looking character because he goes in a completely different direction than most of the characters. I mean, Masters is, after all, a great mix of barbarians and swords and sorcery, but also science fiction. Roboto is one of the ones that definitely goes more in that sci-fi route. So he's got a very cool, very different look, of course, with the, the translucent chest with the gears. So I'm really excited to check this guy out. As you can see, he comes on that same style, classic inspired card back there with the red bursting rocks, the blue starry sky. You can see a brand new mini comic for this third wave included right there behind the figure. And as we rotate this around to the backside, we are once again treated to some absolutely gorgeous artwork. You can see Roboto blasting against Triclops and Cobra Khan's kind of hiding over here. I always love seeing some of the characters in the artwork that we haven't seen actually revealed for Origins yet. It's just really fun seeing all sorts of different Masters of the Universe characters. The artwork is amazing. And then down below that, you can see a listing of all of the figures for this new wave. Of course, He-Man and Skeletor once again are being included, uh, but we also get Roboto, Zodak, Merman, and a retail release for She-Ra, uh, which does differ than the PowerCon version, so we'll get to that in a future video. For the time being, why don't we go ahead and open up Roboto and get a closer look at him. So as mentioned, we do get a brand new mini comic for this new wave of Origins action figures. Uh, it's got some awesome artwork in there featuring all of the characters from this new wave. Uh, it is worth noting that since I have the international release here, uh, there are no word balloons. It's just the images. That's what they do for the international releases rather than doing translations. Uh, so the versions that are released in the US will actually have words inside, uh, but otherwise this is is what all of the figures in this new wave are going to come with. All right, so we got our Roboto outside of the packaging. As always, I like to bring in the tape measure to show you guys that the Origins figures actually stand right around six inches tall. Uh, but that, of course, is because the vintage figures had the squat knee poses. So if we squat the knees on these guys, they actually fit right in with the five and a half inch scale of the vintage action figures. They are styled very similar, uh, you know, kind of with those bulky builds, the muscular bodies. But of course, as I mentioned, Roboto, is a very different looking character because instead of having that muscular torso, that same muscular torso that most of the characters in this line share, Roboto is one figure that has a fully unique torso. He's got this great translucent torso where you can see his working gears and mechanisms on the inside. And it is very, very cool. I will say one thing that's really great about this being a brand new figure is just how clean and crystal clear it looks. So many of the vintage figures have faded or yellowed over time. So this guy does look so bright and vibrant. And that is something that I really, really like. Um, so lots of unique things going on here. So first of all, I do want to talk about the head on this guy. Um, you can see that the silver that is used is the plastic that is just molded in a silver type plastic, but it's totally got that marbleized swirl to it, um, which is something that we've seen a lot uh, from Hasbro. Like they did that a lot with a lot of their shiny Marvel Legends figures. I know some people don't really like this marbleized look, uh, but that's definitely what they used for all the silver on this figure. So you can see the marbleized kind of swirls in the head, uh, but you're also going to see it in the feet as well as the mechanical arms, the interchangeable arms. So it's probably going to look slightly different on everybody's figure, depending on the way those swirls are kind of worked in. There's actually not a lot of it going on on the legs, but on the head, it's super noticeable. We got all those kind of swirls worked into the plastic there. One thing that's really neat about this guy is he does still have a poseable head, even though he has his action feature. That is right. This figure has the same action feature as the vintage, meaning when you rotate his torso, it actually spins the gears inside and it makes the mouth or visor or whatever that thing is on his head. It's always been confusing to me, but it makes it snap up and down. 
just like it did on the vintage toy. So that's really impressive that they got the same action feature in there. But what's even more impressive is the fact that it doesn't really hinder a lot of the other movement. Now we don't have the ball joint at the neck on this guy. Uh, it's just a standard left and right turn. This also means that the head is not removable on this figure, nor is the torso. The torso does not come off from the waist. However, he does still feature fully articulated arms that are still interchangeable. So it's got the same little joint on the inside there. Even though he's all hollowed out, he still has that same joint, which means that his arms are swappable with the other figures in this line. So if you want to swap the arms on Roboto, you want to give him some weird looking buffed out human arms. Hey, that's something that you can do with this guy. So, like I said, the rest of the articulation is still intact there. I mean, look at that. You got the hinge joints at the shoulders. They can go forwards and backwards. You got the swivel at the elbow, the bend at the elbow, the swivel and the hinge at the wrist there. So all of that articulation is still intact, including the removable hands. Um, and then, of course, you've got that special removable hand over on the right arm. So we can see I've got the claw on him right now. You can remove that. There's just a little peg joint there. And that allows you to swap in his three different weapons, which come straight from the vintage toy. You got his little axe weapon and you've got his double barrel blaster, which I will say is a bit warped out of the package. You might need to reshape that a little bit, maybe heat it up and reshape it because it's a little bit warped on there. Uh, but you know, fully interchangeable, works very similar to the vintage though. Um, it's a little easier. It doesn't like really clip in place. And of course the plastic feels a little softer. The vintage one was a hard rigid kind of plastic. So these feel a little bit softer. Um, but the other thing I wanted to bring in are the trap jaw weapons um, because I, I, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to want to know if these are interchangeable. So it is worth noting that the pegs are slightly different. You can see that they are shaped different. They're longer on trap jaws. Some of the trap jaw ones are round. So they're a little shorter and a little stubbier on Roboto's. However, you can still plug those into the arms. Now, because they're longer, they are slightly sticking out of the arm there. However, the peg itself does seem to fit rather well. In fact, if I go ahead and bring Trap Jaw in here, you can see that the Roboto pieces actually clip onto his arm quite nicely. I mean, they are nice and snug. They don't feel like they're gonna fall out. They fit in pretty well. They look awkward. <laughs> they don't really match up with his arm at all. But for anybody that wanted to know if the parts were interchangeable, they are with the exception of the fact that the trap jaw pegs are a little bit longer so they don't plug in all the way on Roboto's arm. So just going down and looking at the rest of the figure here, the legs are just like we've seen on the other figures where he's got the ball-like hinges at the thighs so they can still move forwards, backwards. Uh, you got the swivels at the knee, the bends at the knee. You've also got the swivel at the boot cut, which also means you should be able to remove these at the boot cut. They are very hard. Um, these are, of course, the same legs that we've seen on Trap Jaw and uh, Manny Faces already. There you go. You can see I can remove the boot. Boy, they were real tough to remove but you can do it. And then uh, like we saw with trap jaw already, the ankles don't really rock side to side as well as we've seen on some of the other figures because of the sculpt of the, uh, the boot there, but we could still pivot the ankles up and down at least. So for the most part, his articulation is pretty on par with what we've seen. Plus he's got the added gear uh, turning action feature there in the chest, which looks really cool. One more thing I want to point out with this, he's missing two gears on the vintage action figure. He actually had two gears on his back that also turned when you rotated them. And it looks like Mattel just opted to leave those out this time. So he's just totally hollowed out on the back of the figure and missing those two gears. So with that being said, it's comparison time. Let's go ahead and stand this brand new Roboto alongside his vintage action figure counterparts. And you can really see what I was talking about with the colors. The other thing going on with the vintage one is he's one of those figures that always suffered from the really bad like oxidation with the plastic. So his silver boots turn purple a lot and you can see that there. So it's kind of neat how both of these guys look so very similar to each other, but the new one is so much more bright and vibrant. But when we flip it around and look at the back, Backside, you can see those two gears on the vintage figure that are missing from the one in Origins. And I, I kind of wish those were there. I, I don't know. It's kind of sad. I know I'm not going to look at the back of my figure very often, but he does just look very empty on the back of the new one compared to that vintage one. 
So there you guys go. There is a look at the brand new Masters of the Universe Origins Roboto action figure. All in all, I really like this guy. I think he's very well made. He looks basically just like the vintage action figure. I love that they were able to work in the action feature, but he still can turn his head. So that's really, really nice. Obviously, that takes away some of his interchangeability. But if you're not somebody that mixes and matches parts, that may not be such a big deal to you anyway. Uh, like I said, he's a very different looking character for Masters of the Universe, but that's what Masters is all about. All of the weirdos that all mesh together to make such a very colorful, very cool looking cast of characters. So I'm really glad to get one of those weirdos in Roboto so early on in the line. So this particular wave has not started hitting U.S. stores just yet, but it should be happening very soon. These have already come out internationally, and that's how I got a hold of this one that I actually borrowed from my good friend Carlos. So super shout out to Carlos. I'm going to link the Masters of the Universe Origins Facebook page that he maintains if you guys want to check that out for yourself. Carlos, thank you so much for allowing me to review this figure so we can get a good look at it outside of the packaging. And guys, thank you so very much for watching. Of course, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time. The toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe is available for pre-order now. This official guidebook is published by Dark Horse Books and features over 750 pages of photos and information on your favorite He-Man and She-Ra action figures. And don't miss out on the exclusive bundle pack available for pre-order now from PowerCon. This bundle includes the official guide as well as an exclusive character guide supplement that you won't be able to buy anywhere else. Don't miss out. You have the power.